Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies. Today we're going to be talking to you about race car simulation, in particular lap time simulation using Chassis Sim Lite. Now when we think about race car simulation and lap time simulation, we tend to think of it as the exclusive reserve of the big boys such as guys in F1, IndyCar, NASCAR teams, or teams that are extremely well funded. Well, today, we're going to be showing you how you can use exactly the same resources that these guys have in a matter of, and get set up and going in a matter of minutes. Now, what we're going to do is, we're gonna show you how to get going with Chassis Sim Lite, how to enter in your particular setup, and how to log something to, to run data, and we're gonna show you this, uh, and we're gonna show you that this process is almost child's play. So let's get started. So to get started, we go, we select our chassis sim light icon on the desktop. Then we load in a car that's appropriate to what we want to simulate. Now, for the purposes of this discussion, I went to here, the car menu, and I went to the car drop-down box, and this brings me a uh, list of templates that I can choose from. Now, and I'm gonna choose the Lara F310 template. Now, what a chassis sim template is, is it loads your particular car, it loads all your choices of springs, bars, wings, and geometry options. So you can basically choose what's appropriate for your race car. Now, let's go through and enter our setup. So to enter basically what our aero setup is, we can either click on the front wing, the rear wing, or the wing drop-down box here. This brings up this dialog. And as you can see, we've got all our choices on um, our uh, wing settings in here. So let's just choose this wing here, and we'll click on OK. For our front spring, we can either click on our front spring here, or we click on our, uh, or we can click on the front spring drop-down box. And as you can see, we've got a whole list of different wings we can choose from. And if we need to adjust dampers, as we can see, we've got the slider controls active, so we can just pull this down, and we can just take a little bit of high-speed bump off. Lo and behold, that basically we've just adjusted our dampers. And if we've got bump rubbers we need to put in, we can simply click on here and enter in a bump rubber. The process is exactly the same for the rear spring. And as you can see, we've got a whole different bunch of spring options we can choose from. We can click on OK. That selects our rear spring. Our front bar, we just simply click on either the bar, uh, our front bar here, or we click on the front bar drop-down menu, and bingo, here's our selection of bars. And we just simply click on OK. We do exactly the same thing for the rear bar. So. We'll just go down here, click on OK, and we're good to go. For geometry, all we do is just we click on basically the double wishbones of the car. Here are all the different geometry options. And basically we're just doing this for the, uh, the rear of the car because with the front of the car we've only got one option loaded anyway. So we just click on OK. So we've just selected different, uh, we've just selected our, our rear, our appropriate rear geometry for this setup. Now, now that we've got a uh, rear jump, uh, now that we've got our setup entered, let's go and select a circuit. So here we just go to tracks, we click on this option, and you can see here we've got a bunch of preloaded circuits. Now, I'm just going to choose Willow Bank. Now, what if this was, say, a circuit run on uh, a touring car and we need to adapt it for an open wheel like, which is the case, which is the case here? That's easy. We just go to click here to edit grip and bump scale, and as you can see, because the open wheeler isn't going to be using the same sort of curving as the uh, touring car, we just simply scale down the bumps we're going to use. We click on OK here, and we click on OK. Now, let's log this, uh, uh, let's log this to a data logger of our choice. So here we simply go to data logging. I'm going to say, one, I want to log data. We'll log data to Motec Interpreter. I'm going to call this the Lara F310. I'll put in my circuit name, and I'll put in demo here, and I'll put in here, I'll put in demo 2 because I ran one earlier, and I just simply click on data file output name, I change the file extension to Motec log file, there's a file I worked up earlier, but I'll just call this number 2, bingo! I'm ready to log data. I click on OK. We're ready to run uh, to run our simulation. We click on the Start button. Then we click on Start Simulation. Lo and behold, what have I just done? 
it's by, what we are now doing is we've loaded in our circuit and now what we're doing is we're driving the car transiently through each corner so we can get the true picture of what the of what the car is up to this is the thing that makes chassis sim unique most of chassis sims contemporaries will use something called pseudo static lap time simulation that basically assumes everything is smooth etc etc here we are driving the car totally transiently as if the perfect driver was driving the car over the bumps, curbs, etc., etc., so we can get the complete picture of what's going on. And when we're done, basically you'll see that basically here's our predicted lap time. And we did that in under half a minute. So to view the results, we've got a couple of options. We can either use the view results tab, and we can basically look at statistics, a quick track map, a plot window, or here's the real power, we can basically go to a data logger of our choice, lo and behold, and here's the data file we just ran. We click on OK, lo and behold, bingo, here's our race data. This is so powerful because this is exactly what you would get back from a car, from a test section, when you would data log it. And here we've done it in a matter of minutes in the comfort of, our own, in the comfort of your own home or office. And with the chassis sim uh, light team that we have, they can actually configure a template for your particular um, requirement. So you can do this. They, uh, so you can do this all day long. So go to the chassis sim website. Check out our blog. You're going to see a lot of useful things about what chassis sim is. You'll see some references to chassis sim light, and discover for yourself why chassis sim is in fact the winner's edge. This will be the first in a series of productions that we're going to do about how to use chassis sim, uh, about how to use chassis sim light but this gives you your real taster but don't take our word for it go to the website go to chassis uh, go to chassis and see uh, and see for yourself why chassis sim is in fact the winner's edge